happy hour. Thank you so much for being here. Give yourselves a round of applause for supporting women and feminism and having wine and beer when you know you really want to shout at tequila. It's fine. We'll have that by next month. So don't worry. We understand it's Friday night. Come on in. Make yourselves comfortable. It's really low key. Find a chair anywhere. Sit on the floor here. You know. Um, hey, clap it up if this is your first feminist happy hour. December in Florida when it's raining. I'm talking about like winter months, January, late January, maybe your beau invited you over for a nice 
grilled cheese, tomato soup action. You were like comfortably enjoying the meal on his couch with your leg warmers, tights, and shoes off. And then he breaks the news to you. And you're like, oh, this is cool. Now it's just gonna take me 30 minutes to get dressed. I'm just gonna awkwardly look at you. Yeah, one leg warmer at a time. Hold on, let me get my snow pants. Still watching me. Crumbs of grilled cheese on my face. And then you just have to walk home in the snow. So it just doesn't get better. Yeah, these aren't jokes, this is just my life. Welcome to it. It's going great. Um, I think my worst breakup in Chicago, though, was um, this guy that basically broke up with me. I still had my pants off. It was in his bed the next morning. We broke up over the Hunger Games. Are you all familiar with this book trilogy, aka blockbuster film? that every white dude who went to film school would like to tell you doesn't matter because Battle Royale, Japanese people and big knives and that was the real Hunger Games. You know what, Hunger? Uh-uh. Have you met Katniss Everdeen? She is a triumph of both stage and script, okay? Also, side note, one thing I realized today when I was like working on this bit, I was like, you know, I am Katniss Everdeen. That guy was like old ass Donald Sutherland, who, by the way, is a stone cold fox. Donald Sutherland, yeah, Donald Sutherland was like the old dude in The Hunger Games and also the old dude in Buffy the Vampire Slayer, circa 1992, Christy Swanson. Yeah, I am not talking about Josh Whedon and Sarah Michelle Gellar. I'm talking about the real. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Oh, the 80s. These movies were 35 years apart. Donald Sutherland is the same age in both films. Like, it's just true. Okay, so for all my younger children in here, clap it up if you know who Donald Sutherland is. They're like, um, for the young people. I know you guys know. Kiefer, anyone know Kiefer? Yeah. Yeah, the TV show that you all know. Do you know his films of the heyday? No, you don't. That's right. That's right, come to my class. Um, yeah, I like old dudes, it's a thing. What are you gonna do? It's not even, yeah, clap it up, fine. Don't even get me started, like, Donald Sutherland is just one. That was actually, like, I, as I was writing, writing this joke, I was like, oh, I forgot about Donald Sutherland, because then, you know, I'm like, Sam Elliott, I'm gonna say that again. Oh, he's, he's been gray since he was born. He was like born with that mustache and that gray hair and a cowboy hat on. We were like, yes, sure, dude. Jeff Bridges, another one, was was the gymnastics coach in Stick It? Who seems Stick It? Homework, yes. Go home and watch movies about gymnasts. It's important. <laughs> My favorite Silver Fox so far in a way, though, is King Train. Come on, way underrated. Oh. Lord of the Ocean, single dad to Ariel and six other mermaids? Are you kidding me? You need to get your mind straight. I was such a good mermaid stepmom. I can see him now. Just teaching them songs about feminism and forks. <laughs> Great. I did the math, and here's my thought. Okay, so The Little Mermaid came out in 1989. And I'm thinking, you know, merfolk, what are they doing with their lives, right? They're just like getting out of like their preliminary schooling and then like having babies. They're like royalty, you know? They're like the British royalty over there. They just breathe them right into having kids, putting a crown on. So I'm thinking, Ariel was 16. We all know this, right? Isn't it obvious, Daddy? Ariel's in love. Sweet little 16 year old. So keep trying, I'm thinking, is like max 20. <laughs> right? I, I mean, it could have been, been 16. You know, I mean, again, Merfolk. You don't know what's happening down there. So, this is 1989. He's 20. I have to look at my notes to do this math. I'm not good enough to do it on stage. But I'm, basically, he'd be like 64 now. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> all those kids are like gone. They're all with like Prince Eric's, like being humans. How do I get down? How do I get to your girl under the sea? That beard. No, have you never seen the Little Mermaid? Okay. <laughs> Tell the crowd. Floridians are like, listen. That's not even what mermaids look 
leg. Okay? I have been scuba diving. I know the merfolk. Well, well, I think I'm going to skip my part about why Pretty Woman is a feminist film. We'll get to that next show, or maybe in between. That's going to take me about 10 minutes to sell you on. I don't have that kind of time. <laughs> but if we haven't seen it lately, watch it. Um, we have an amazing show for you today. Are y'all like on the edge of your seats and you can't wait? You're like, who's next? Improv U is at Yes and You. Feminist Happy Hour is at Feminist Happy Hour, but the hour doesn't have an O or a U because you know, like Twitter and Instagram, you know. We'd really appreciate if you want to take some pictures, tweet some tweets. If you see a performer you like tonight, ask me at the end. I'll tell you what their Instagram handle is. But it's all up on our um, social media channels. It really does help to get the word out, to tag, to post, to check in. You go into Facebook into the invite and check in and like say you're here. It's very important. It's 2018. The internet is in charge of us. It's not but true. But it's not in charge of us now. We're here. We're live. We're connecting with each other. We have five amazing performers. Some will be funny. Some won't. They're all going to be like invigorating, inspiring. Listen, funny is subjective, okay? I did not understand what I am saying to you. That is on you. Yeah, just keep laughing. Just keep laughing. If you're not sure what to do, laugh. That's what women have been doing for centuries. Our first performer tonight teaches a stand-up class here at Improv U. What? That means all y'all in the audience who are watching and going, this girl's my idol. I wouldn't be like her. I wouldn't be able to do the show. You come here, take class, do it. You can do it with the first performer we have come in the stage. Her name is Noam Manor. She's an Israeli comic that started out in improv, made her way to stand up. Besides performing, she runs mics, she does shows, and she teaches here. Please give a warm 